No, this video does not contain any Mario movie spoilers, and neither this a review of it, but instead we gonna talk about why Western movie critics are hating this movie so much that they are rating it worse than 1993 Mario live action movie. Yes, that same shitty live action movie. I'm damn sure you know who Mario is, and recently a Super Mario Brothers movie was released, and it was a collaboration project between Universal Pictures and Nintendo, and I was too like other skeptical about quality of this movie when Chris Pratt was revealed to be StarCast. But I'm gonna be honest here, it was an enjoyable and good movie no doubt. Movie could have been better, but it was at the end of the day, enjoyable, and not a pure crap movie. But yet some people are not liking it at all. So there's a British news outlet called Telegraph, and they wrote a review about Super Mario Bros, and dubbed it the second grade CGI movie. Which is kind of ironic that the same guy reviewed new Peter Pan movie, and gave it 100% rating. I'm not even playing full 5 star rating for a garbage movie like Peter Pan, but that could be a separate video on its own. So for today let's keep our focus on Mario movie instead. So this review starts with author talking shit about 1993 live action Mario movie, but he makes sure to remind everyone that the new animated movie is still worse than it. Then the author talks about why the CGI of Super Mario movie is second grade, and to be honest I don't think that's the case. The CGI are not bad at all. There's always room for improvement, but calling it second grade? Really? Also author talks about this movie made Sonic movie look like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean how you even counter such a bizarre statements. Some people do think Mario movie is a just a quick cash grab, but is that really the case when franchise like Marvel which is billed on quick cash grab philosophy, are struggling to deliver a billion dollar movie, but at the same time Super Mario movie literal did that so fast, and in a better way. So people are actually watching this movie, and I hate to break it to all the delusional people. But Peter Pan movie was literally premiered on Disney Plus, and not even on real cinema. A coward move maybe? This article is damn short and badly written, and there's not much detail on why this movie sucks besides the author hating on story of this movie. Well to be honest the movie is not perfect. I personally believe the voice actors could have done a better job, but still it's worth a watch movie, and there's no denying in that. So if you are actually wondering whether you should watch this movie or not, trust me give it a try, and the judge by yourself. But don't simply believe in these reviewers. That's what I would advise you. Now the question comes why Western reviewers are hating Super Mario Bros. movie. Let's talk about it. Western movie critics are some of the most close-minded and narrow-minded people in the world. They refuse to acknowledge the fact that there is an entire world of cinema outside of the United States and Europe, and they seem to think that any movie that is not in English is automatically inferior. The believe every movie must follow their NPC codes and should be, you know, politically correct. It's a pity, really because there are some truly amazing non-English movies out there that these critics are completely missing out on. They seem to forget that there are entire cultures and histories that are being portrayed in these films, and that these stories are just as valid and important as anything being produced in Hollywood. And yet, despite their narrow-mindedness, these critics still have the audacity to claim that they are experts on cinema, and that they have the authority to judge what is good and what is not. They are quick to dismiss any movies that don't fit within their narrow view of what a movie should be. It's time for these critics to open their eyes and realize that there is an entire world of cinema out there that is just waiting to be discovered. And there's I don't why, but a constant hate for Chris Pratt. I mean he is no Marlon Brando, but dude is a decent actor, and hating a movie just because he is in is kind of dumb. So that's it I guess. I know video was pretty short, but that was basically my aim because I'm not a full-fledged hater, ready to make an hour-long video on just one topic. So yeah, that's it. And if you found it video worth your time, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Take care.